let us assume that a string is declared as length 10 and one single character type variable ch and one integer type variable i let us initialize with 0 now do part it is ch is equal to get char to read a single character into this character type variable and then we are reading this string of i so we are keeping this const character value into the string and next i value increment this is the do segment while and the condition is the character ch is not equal to a new line this is the while condition part and uh, the next statement for a while condition while is i is equal to i minus 1 and uh, string of i is equal to this null character enough we can print of course let us see up to this how to read we are discussing about reading a string now this is the code segment to read a string by using this get care function so let us see first in this declaration part a string is declared with 10 character size so after this declaration the storage will looks like a 10 bytes of memory is allocated for this string 10 bytes let us assume that the addresses will be 100 101 102 103 104 105 106 107 108 109 as the addresses of this string individual elements here while acts in this individual elements we know that string of i will be used here i value for the first byte it is 0 second byte it is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 consecutively so from 0 to 9 i value now this is ch is a character to take this character and i we are taking a variable first value we are initializing as 0 in this do segment first we are reading a character by using get char in the first statement this get char reads a value it is an input function it reads a value or character and that will be assigned to ch so here ch is a character that is taking i is an integer and integer value we are already initialized with 0 ch value of this first statement in the do segment get char it is ready to receive one character that character is stored into ch let us assume that we have given two words good one we want to give this uh, string to this string of 10 by using this get care function and for that we are using a dual function let us see how it works so ch now it is taking get care function first character is g so ch g will be given and we know that this do while function while this condition it is true the do segment will be repeated if this condition is false the next statement after while is executed this is the way how to do while works we know now ch is taking now g so after this statement the next statement ch value will be stored in a string of i so string of i means i value is 0 initialized so first string of 0 is ch so string of 0 means this one in this byte ch will be stored ch by using this get care we are taking g so first character will be stored in the first element of the string after the execution of the second statement next i value will be incremented so now i value will be 1 next while condition will be executed this condition is the character not equal to new line so this character is now g this is not equal to new line that means the condition is true so let us take the condition here 
Now the condition is true. That means this do segment will be repeatedly executed. So for i value 1 now, this do segment will be repeated. So for that, the character is again ready to take another character. It reads the second character, that is O. So now the character value is O. And then after that, this statement, string of i value. Now i value is 1. So string of 1 is equal to ch. So string of 1 is ch value O will be stored here. After that, the third statement in the do segment is i plus plus. So i value, be in, i value will be incremented. So it is 2. Next, while condition. CH now it is O. O is not equal to new line. So obviously the condition will be again true. If the condition is true, this do segment will be repeated. So then let us repeat this do segment. Now CH is taking the third character. The third character will be again O. So CH value now it is O. After that it is storing in the string, string of I. So the I value is 2. So string of 2 is now O. O will be stored. And next the third statement I increment. So I value will be 3 now. Now next, while condition CH, again O is not equal to new line. So condition again true. So the do segment will be repeated. Now the character, next character will be now, it is D. So D will be stored in CH first. And then this execution of this statement, CH goes to string. So this CH D value is going to the string. String of now, it is 3. So D will be stored here. And then I value will be incremented. So I value now it is 4. After that uh, condition, so here D value is a CH, so D not equal to new line. So again the condition is true. If the condition is true, again do segment repeated. If do segment is repeated, CH takes other value. Now the next value for this CH is here space. So in the scanner function we have seen that space, if we get the space in the scanner function that will stop to read the characters. Here what happens means the character will take the space by using this get care function. Now again that will be stored in this string. Now string is i value is at 4. So 4 means here space will be stored. A space, simply a space or empty byte will be there. After that i value will be incremented. So here we are having space. So I value is incremented to 5. Next while condition is checked. So space is not equal to new line. So again condition is true. If the condition is true, do value will be do segment repeated. So next character will be taken. So we don't have any problem while taking space by using get car function with the loops. That is the point we have to observe here. Anyhow, this O value will be taken in the character. Now again I value will be incremented. Condition is checked again true. So that do segment again repeats. Character will be now N. O will be stored here. Now character will be N. After that N, I value will be incremented. It is 7. So in this statement, N value will be stored here. Condition will be checked. So N value is not equal to new line. So condition true. So do segment again repeats. So CH is equal to now get character. So last character E will be taken in the CH. And then it will be stored in the string. And then I value will be incremented. So I value now it goes to 8. And then this E value, condition is checked. E value is not equal to new line. So condition here also it is true. So in the next 8, I is equal to 8, we have again do segment repeated so in this we are getting a new line here so that when i value is equal to 8 we are having a new line in the get care function that will be stored in ch so here we are getting a new line that means the string i of i is equal to new line here i plus plus so i value will be 9 here so we are getting new line when i is equal to 8 the condition is, this new line is not, not equal to new line means the condition fails here. When we enter a new line, so the condition fails. 
if the con while the condition is failed the i value will be nine here but we want to store a null character at i value eight but unfortunately we are coming to the next line we are coming to the next line i value will increment eight that is why we are getting i value nine without storing any value or null value at the i value eight or the byte eight so that is the purpose we are decrementing this i value here by using the statement i is equal to i minus 1 so here for i is equal to i minus 1 this i value is again decremented by 1 so that in this string of i we are storing null character so this is nothing but the string of 8 is equal to null character so that at the end of the string we are storing a null character as per the definition of the string so that after execution of this statement so good one will be stored like this in the declared string of length 10 with including space we are reading that string and at the end we are adding null character as per the definition so by using the get char by using do and while conditions we can read a string from the terminal like this this is one way and in other simple way we have other function to read a string simply we can read a string without all this code segment by using a function which is defined in the standard library of c language that is get s the get s function we can use directly by to read a string from the terminal so let us see how to use this get s means let us take a character string of length 10 if we use this get s function it is having one parameter that is the string name like this so after execution of this one if we give good one so after this declaration we know that a 10 bytes of memory will be allocated like this for this string now we are using a get s function so get s function having only one parameter that is the string name so this string name is ready to take this good one so this good one directly will be stored like this so the syntax or format specification format is also simple just to get us we are using by using the string name as one parameter this is the way how to use this get s function we can simply read a string from the terminal by using get s function this is the most appropriate one out of these three functions to read a string similarly we have corresponding functions to print the string on the screen so we have seen that we can use scan a function with one limitation or we can use get char function or we can use get s function for reading of a string now we want to print this string on the screen now we can use the printf statement with the corresponding specification format by using the string is a string name to print the total string on the screen we can use the print of like this otherwise corresponding to this we are having a put char function it is having one parameter let us take ch the ch is a character type value so we can use the put char function along with that we must use do while or while any loop we can say put char function plus loops must be used already we have seen the get char function how we to how to read a total string by using get char function along with these loops similarly we can use put char function along with the loops to print the total string onto the screen similarly we are having the last function put s a string name to print the total string on the screen 
this is also most comfortable one for us to 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 print a total string on the screen just like the get is to read a string put is we can use to print the total string on the screen this is the way how to we use the string input output functions in the c language